Well, hi guys. Uh, I get a lot of uh, questions about router setup. I've got a couple of videos up that uh, deal with it, but they don't really explain it clearly. I was doing more on uh, this third third party firmware I'm using. But no matter what router you're using, you're going to have these specific settings. Most people are going to be using either DHCP, which if that's what you're using, then um, that's great. It automatic automatically it's kind of an automatic setting. If you're not, you're going to be using probably PPO PPPoE or static IP. And in that case, you just need to get the username and password from your ISP and enter it in. So, the other settings that you're going to need, most people are going to want to worry about, or going to need to know, are the wireless settings. So, most people are going to have a page similar to this. Wireless mode. Most home users are going to be using AP. There are other, uh, if you're using any of the other, other ones, you're probably more sophisticated and you don't even need this. Wireless network mode. This depends on what your adapter is. If, you're, if you have an, an older laptop, um, you may have uh, B and G. It may not be an N compatible uh, network adapter. So you would want to choose something like BG mixed or B only or G only. If you have an N or a BGN, uh, you can go ahead and choose mixed or N only or any of the others. So you need to really find out what your adapter type is in your laptop or wireless device. Next would be the SSID. That is when you uh, when you uh, click the little network icon in your system tray in Windows in the bottom right hand corner and it brings up all the network names. And this is what I mean when I say SSID name. When you tap this little network icon in the bottom right hand corner of your laptop on the tray and this uh, little window pops up these are the SSID names being broadcast from uh, routers in your area that's this I have mine named you could name it uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious if you wanted to and that's what would come up when you push to the uh, network icon in Windows. Um, that, while we're on that, the wireless SSID broadcast, enable or disable, you're, the first time you're going to want to enable that because that's what broadcasts this, the SSID name. So you'll want to enable that so you can get your laptop or wireless device hooked up to your router and then uh, for if you want to be real uh, uh, safe, you'll want to come in here and disable it. So when your neighbor does the same thing, he won't even see your network because it won't be broadcasting. Wireless channel, uh, you may have auto, you could use that. In North America, um, you really need to be using 1, 6, or 11. You can choose either uh, any of, the, of those and uh, use any of those three, or you can use auto. And the channel width, um, you'll, most people are going to want to go with uh, either 20 or 40 on the channel width. And uh, a lot of these other settings, they're going to be preset, like the uh, sensitivity range and the network configuration probably won't need to mess with those but there's my settings in case you uh, erased yours and you want to try mine I have 2000 and bridged so the only other thing you're gonna want to uh, most people are gonna want to do when you get that part set and apply the settings save the settings you'll want to come into wireless security most people these days are gonna want to be using WPA2 personal 
whatever you do, don't use WEP because it's been cracked and you just don't want to use WEP anymore. So you might have a bunch of different different choices here. You may only have three or four. Uh, this is a different router from yours, but if you have WPA or WPA2, use that. And then on the uh, algorithms, you can pretty much use whatever you want here. AES is good. TKIP and AES is even better. But just whatever you choose, just write it down and remember it because you're going to need to plug this information into your Windows system the first time you hook up. And be sure to check the box in Windows to always connect when you're in range. And then the only other thing is your uh, key here. You're going to want to type in a key. And that's the same key that you're going to type in Windows so it knows to get to your how to log into your network. So that's pretty much your pass your network password is in wireless security. And uh, that's pretty much it. Once you apply those settings, you'll need to go into Windows and connect to a network and just plug this information in. Whatever you've chosen for these three fields is what you're going to plug into Windows. Check the box in Windows to make it remember to connect when it's in range. All right, guys, real quick, this is what I mean when you uh, when I said to add or uh, when, where to enter those three settings, those three fields that we were talking about earlier. Your SSID name, whatever you named it, the security type, whatever you entered in that security type in your router. Remember, I entered WPA personal and then your uh, encryption type and your password. Whatever you chose in your router is what you'll need to enter here. And then make sure you have this box checked to automatically connect when you're in range and continue on with the wizard. And that's pretty much all there is to hooking your router up to your wireless device. So I hope this helps somebody out and you'll be good to go. So hopefully that helps somebody. You guys have a great day.